everybody. Uh, Guillaume Valentine, the Senior Transportation Planner with Plain Development Services. And I was out here and talking about parking uh, during the spring. And for those who weren't here, I just want to provide a little background about an effort that we recently did called Right Size in the Parking Code, which led to the uh, an ordinance that we filed this, this summer. So we did, um, it, parking has been identified as a key priority to look at and address some of our regulations and policies related to Primarily, we're talking about off-street parking and development-related um, supply of, of parking. So, uh, reading the code, uh, the Aloha Reedville study, our Washington County Transportation System Plan, all kind of uh, led to this effort, the right size of the parking code project, which was a transportation and growth management-funded project that we completed a couple years ago, which uh, we that effort uh, consisted of stakeholder engagement, really looking at best practices um, locally as well as na nationally, some uh, of our existing policies and guidance. Uh, and then we also completed a utilization study, a uh, parking utilization study, which informed the ordinance that we filed this uh, summer. And just wanted to kind of walk through real briefly some of the highlights about what, what is included in that ordinance. I mean, maybe familiar with this code section, if not, uh, bear with us, but this, these are the specifics. So we, we looked at changes to our off-street parking, the minimum requirements that are uh, required for development, and uh, the recommendations that came out of that study was really to, to reduce and, and update our uh, minimum parking ratios to reflect kind of current best practices uh, and, and based on that utilization study. And so it, it does change countywide parking ratios for certain uses, commercial, institutional, and residential uses. Uh, we also included a provision, affordable housing. Parking was really identified as kind of a, a key impediment to providing additional affordable housing units. And uh, to address that, it was um, we included a, a provision for regulated affordable housing at a reduced rate below what is uh, standard residential parking ratio of 0.75 spaces per unit. And uh, we included a definition of what qualifies as regulated, regulated affordable housing. And uh, it's defined as affordable housing at the level of 80% of the median family. We also included a little bit more flexibility. This is really kind of a key provision for uh, this effort to allow developers to identify what's going to be appropriate uh, parking ratio based on your certain uh, context, uh, your site context. And so we increased the allowed reduction of those off street parking ratios to 50%. Uh, we included several new opportunities for um, based on site specific. Uh, context to, to look at reduced parking ratios, looking at mixed use development, um, access to transit, that, that was a provision that was there previously, but we increased the, uh, and then we also considered shared parking agreements with considerations about peak period. Uh, and then we included a new provision that would allow a developer to complete a parking analysis to reduce beyond what that 50% that um, reduction. So you could actually reduce off-street parking by up to 100%. A few other uh, key changes we looked at, um, really just, again, kind of flexibility, uh, relaxing some of the proximity standards in our code, uh, removing restrictions against leasing and, and renting spaces, we included our uh, updated our parking lot design standards uh, to include just a little bit more user friendly elements, um, really to encourage more safe pedestrian utilization of parking lots, and uh, included electric vehicle and motorcycle parking to um, allow that as a uh, to count towards your minimum ratio. And then the. Uh, the pedestrian safety element, we also included an exemption for auto and RV sales, uh, parking and storage lots. So that was a brief overview. Hopefully we've caught a little time here. Here's some resources. Uh, the, the ordinance was adopted this last Tuesday by the board. It will become effective uh, next month, November 24th. 
you can review the ordinance online and then the right size of the parking code is also on our website and that just has a lot of that background information if you're interested in reviewing that. Questions or comments?